Hi. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully we you see me and uh if you are watching this, if you click on the actual video and then I'll see that you've joined and I'll be able to see your questions right away if you have any. So there's Cheryl. Yay. Okay, so we're going to talk about surrendering and uh, that was actually my topic this week. So instead of doing the video earlier this week, I decided to leave it all for today because surrendering and then using the power of the full moon energy and the pink full moon energy, we are going to supercharge the meditation for surrendering. Now, hi Lisa. Now we haven't, um, ah, it, it's, yeah, we haven't done anything like this before connecting with the full moon. So it's kind of cool that we're going to do it today. I wore pink. I can't really tell by the video, but I wore pink. It's about the full moon. This is kind of a pink. Again, the videos distorted it. And this, if you haven't seen any of my special uh, broadcasts, this is a sacred geometry sheet. It raises the vibration. So it will raise the vibration of those watching it. And hi, Sasha. And um, basically, well, me, but anybody watching it. So when it's raising the vibration, it helps us to absorb the energies of what's happening. So we're going to talk a little bit about surrendering. And the thing is, uh, and it's kind of a hard thing to wrap our human mind around, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Now, what I visualize is that I can see myself sitting around a table, like the Knights of the Round Table, only you're discussing with other light beings and this is what you want to experience this is what i want to learn in this life this is what you i want you to do to me and i'm going to do this to you and then there's this whole contract filled out with what we're going to experience now some people experience more intense things than others and um that and it's really hard to think about the fact that that was a choice that they made they are um like they have the opportunity to to grow from that i think i've grown from what my experience was i mean going way back it um i'm five years old my mom left you know and then i was in charge of my three younger brothers and then there's a huge custody battle and and then we get with the stepfather that that was kind of mean and uh yeah then i move up north and i'm with a man who beats me and drinks and then i come home and i drink <laughs> so i go from drugs and alcohol abuse like huge amount of self-abuse and self-esteem issues and i grew i grew from that and uh, i think <laughs> i did anyways and like one thing led to another and with every book i read i grew from it so i started with nutrition and i'm big on eating for your body because this is just a shell of who i really am right like this everyone we have a human body it's a shell when this body dies my true self is not dead i'm still there but the shell of who i am is is gone but i'm still around so that's kind of fun too um but when you learn how to surrender and you are actually allowing your soul to bring to you what you're supposed to experience hi maureen uh so what we're supposed to experience we have everything we want to learn right but if you surrender when you are forcing your life and this is my interesting point of view when you're forcing your life and trying to force it to come to be how you want it to be 
you could be getting in your own way in your soul's way so your soul wants you to experience certain things that's why you're here and yet we're getting in our own way so when you learn how to surrender you're surrendering your life to your soul you and your true self and that will all of a sudden bring something in that you're supposed to experience yay hi Catherine uh, so yeah so when all that comes to be then then you're in surrender mode and then you're you're actually going to um, you know be able your life will unfold and so it'll be kind of fun because then you're observing your life unfolding and it doesn't mean thing all things are going to be good it means that what's coming to you is coming to you for a reason so and that's when you kind of look at it as an observer and you connect with it what am I supposed to learn from this what do I need to do for this so always always ask questions your higher self will answer questions you'll you'll hear from your higher self from your guides anyone um, of the light always ask for the beings of light to help um, because then you'll get the highest vibration help so once we decide that this is what we want to experience then we're you know we surrender to it and then we allow our life to unfold and then we become a witness to our own life which is kind of cool so I want to take us on a meditation and it's a meditation to surrender and we're going to combine that with the full moon energy and so um, throughout the meditation I'll be guiding you along and uh, I'll tell you the colors to focus on and that kind of thing so it'll be fun and like I said this is a sacred geometry poster and it's going to power up our um, vibration our frequency to help us to be you know our observers and before I get started with it last week on my podcast I mentioned um, an affirmation that I started saying Louise Hay and uh, it she it was I am aware so highly recommend doing this video I am or sorry this um, affirmation I am aware just say it as many times during the day then you will see how things are changing and you'll be listening to your intuition you'll be listening to your guides so and I am aware three simple words and it'll help you to connect with all of the spiritual things that you know will be able to give you some answers so let's jump right into the meditation and then we'll come back and uh, we'll I'll see if there's any questions or comments and and uh, we'll just go from there all right so take a, a few deep breaths when you're breathing in focus on breathing in white light the white lights coming from high vibration place so just bring in white light through the crown of your head and down into your body just keep breathing in this light exhaling that beautiful white light now visualize a golden light above your head and allow the golden light to sprinkle golden dust down your entire body you can breathe in that golden dust it's going to cleanse out what no longer serves you it'll take out any energy that doesn't belong in your body just allow that golden dust to clean out everything just keep breathing deep your breath is how you're going to connect to the quantum field now I want you to visualize a mountain 
a beautiful meadow and you see a mountain and there's a path going up the mountain and keep breathing deeply and follow the path up the mountain the higher you go the more at peace you feel The higher you go, you realize there's pink light all around you. Now you get to the top of the mountain and you realize that the beings of light have all gathered there. They seem to be celebrating something. You can't seem to make out what they're saying just yet. Something in the crowd gets your attention. It's a bright, bright light. You start heading towards this bright light. Going through the beings of light the angels, the masters, whoever you see in this crowd is who you're meant to see. And you arrive at this bright light and you realize that it is you, your soul, your higher self is the brightest light at the top of this mountain. your soul explains to you that this is a celebration about you and the fact that you are ready to surrender your soul ex explains that there's nothing to fear that everything will unfold for your highest good as part of this ceremony, you are asked to completely surrender and allow yourself to fall off the mountain. Now again, the beings of light explain, your soul explains that there is no fear. This is just a process to allow energetically you to surrender. You are surrounded by the highest frequency with all these beings of light around you. Now you understand that you are to take the leap. You're standing at the edge of the mountain. You stare into the eyes of your soul and you see nothing but trust. You say the words, I completely surrender and allow yourself to fall. Sorry, I completely surrender and allow you to show me my mastery for my highest good. Now you allow yourself to fall off the mountain. You are gently falling with no fear and you can still feel the beings of light around you. It's almost like gentle, like a, a feather as you're falling. You are not alone and you have never been alone. Keep breathing deeply and I will speak in the soul language. Keep breathing deeply and feel this with your heart. Allowing yourself to fall like this in your mind is surrendering your life to your higher self. 
Akashana Nakola Shana Nakama Nakasati Kile, Shana Nakola Shana Nakata Kile, the Sana Nakola Rakata Tako Shana Nakala Rakasana. It's about trusting and allowing your life to unfold. Akashana Nakola Shana Nakasa Kile, the Kasana Nakola Manakata Kile, the Karna Nakoshana Naka Ayana Katsatokola Shana Nakola Rakata. Aredi Kile Shana Nakola Rakashana Nakasana Nakashana Loko Shana Nakasa Kile Naka. It's about expanding your heart. See your heart breathing with you as you inhale, your heart is expanding in your chest. It is inhaling with you. It is exhaling with you. See the door of your heart open. You're allowing your light to shine. Take a deep breath. Now focus on the fact that you are falling and you are connecting your energy of the surrendering to a very beautiful pink full moon. This pink full moon has energetically connected to you as you're surrendering. Now feel yourself be in this, it's almost like a freedom, an allowance. Put your hands on your heart and bring in the full moon energy to your heart. Inhale and breathe in pink light. Pink is love energy. And this is a love energy that we're working with and bringing in. It is surrounding us. Now take a deep breath and I want you to stay connected to the full moon energy, but open your eyes when you're ready. Just keep breathing deep. That The breathing deep keeps you in the quantum field and the quantum field is where the beings of light are. It's where your higher self resides. Okay, now before we close or open it up to any questions, I have a cleansing prayer that I found today. It's, it's a full moon cleansing prayer. So I'd like to uh, say that for you now. And I'll, I can put a link in the, um, the comments so you can go to it. It's um, from a site called Keeper of the Diamond Light Codes. It's a beautiful... Um, cleansing prayer and uh, I thought it would be awesome to say tonight uh, as we're connecting to the full moon all right so um, you can say it after me or you could just open yourself up to um, go along with what I'm saying so I am now choosing to cleanse myself of sorry myself I, i'm gonna start over i am now choosing to cleanse myself and release any and all thought forms beings situations and energies that are no longer of service to my highest and greatest good across all planes of my existence across all universes 
and across all lifetimes, I ask that all energies that are less than love be transmuted for the highest good of all. And so it is. You are luminous. So, yeah, that's from the Keeper of the Diamond Light Codes. It's a beautiful cleansing prayer. And I thought it was just awesome to be included in uh, tonight's meditation. So you're all back in to your body. So what did you think? Did you experience anything? Wow. Did you feeling all buzzy from it? Any comments? Just put in the comments. I'm watching. <laughs> there's a bunch of hearts just showed up Yay! so you loved it that's awesome so any questions about quantum field about uh, um, any full moon activation meditation uh, you want me to just keep talking because I totally will <laughs> so when you're working with the quantum field like I said the, the you can simply breathe like our breath is so powerful oh there's something from hey beautiful and relaxing awesome beautiful yay um when you take the time to breathe and settle yourself down um, from the day-to-day -day drama then you can feel yourself all buzzy because you're in the quantum field. When you are with, um, <laughs> thanks Cheryl, when you are with the beings of light and you ask a question, what will happen is um, you'll get, like say you're talking to somebody and you will get goosebumps it's it's my favorite because what i look at that is um like a they'll they'll brush you right the beings of light will just kind of brush you yes that's right they'll say and then you get goosebumps right so you are getting confirmation that what you're talking about is the right thing to do so yes i'm glad the fall fall of surrender was like floating yes thank you sasha um my fear my fear was that i didn't want to cause fear um because you're falling and some people will think oh my god i'm jumping off a mountain right but it's more like a floating um like a feather and and you're just allowing like another process too that just came to me was would be what while you've got the beings of light surrounding you you could uh, have a master you know my my favorite master to work with would be Christ and to have him stand behind me and just put my hands up and fall you know you're trusting him to catch you you know you're trusting Archangel Michael whoever you want from the beings of light ask for them to catch you and surrender just allow yourself to fall and you could even use your um, like your higher self too. Cheryl, that's awesome. Wings. Yeah. See, we are angels. You know, um, I, um, let me see, there was a book and someone told me that a really good thing to do is to claim I am Archangel Michael. You know, so Archangel Michael, any of the angels, it's a an it's an energy, right? It's it's all light, and we are light. So I am claims that energy. So you're claiming to be that vibration. So we look at Archangel Michael as a very powerful being. 
there's times that I don't leave my house without pretending to put boots on. Like I literally take my, you know, hand and I put my boot on and it's putting Archangel Michael's boots on. But that's a process I, I don't need to do. I can just say I am Archangel Michael. And so then I'm wearing the frequency of Archangel Michael, or like I said, any angel you want to be, then you're wearing that vibration and you are Archangel Michael, right? And when you're in the quantum field and you are uh, with all the beings of light, there's so many things that could happen and there's so many things you could learn. You know, I have meditated and I was blessed to go into the Akashic Records. And like when I first started speaking light language, it confused the heck out of me. And I'm like, what am I saying? Uh, how come I don't know what I'm saying? So I meditated and I was taken to a beautiful room and there was this book there. It was a huge book and I opened the book and it was light language, written light language codes. And it, it's there for me to use any time. And if I want to know what something means, then go and look at what it means. And I've been going there quite often and learning as much as I can. So now I'm combining my light language, which I like to call soul language now, my soul language, with and then when you see my hands doing this that is light codes so and the codes go into you as i'm speaking and i go into that room and i look at the codes and then i can kind of decipher what they are this it's a big book i'm going to have to do <laughs> quite a bit more studying but apparently i'm i'm just supposed to surrender because what i'm saying in soul language i'll know what it means here everything all the answers are in our heart so all we have to do is connect to our true self so now tonight we connected with the full moon and and brought in like the cleansing prayer the the uh, surrendering the light language activation all of that but combine it all into one huge energy session you know and then we got the sacred geometry here and and the energy just the intention of us cleansing our body the intention of us surrendering it's all energy and it's all pretty cool you know like and i don't know how you feel right now in this moment uh but i'm pretty buzzy <laughs> and i i can feel there's some pretty amazing energies coming at us right now and and so it, it's gonna be a pretty awesome night this is supposed to be a very strong full moon like the pink energy it's about clearing what no longer serves us and bringing love in so that's the pink and the the energies of that so um <laughs> so I'm just reading Sasha. She was expecting to hit the ground, but it never happened. No, because we're floating, you know, and, and we could be walking. You know, I always talk about movies that I, I love, and, and um, Avatar was one of those movies. And when they're walking on the beautiful land, right? And, and did anybody else notice that as they walked, the, the ground, the earth lit up with every footstep that they took. The mother earth lit up with energy as the coolest thing. So that's what we could be doing. And I love visualizing that. I'll be walking to work and, and I'll visualize with every step that I'm taking that I'm lighting, I'm sparking up the earth, you know, because we're energetic beings. We are fully capable of doing this right and and 
we have the power. It's it's us that gets in our own way. I've, I've gotten in my own way. You know, as soon as I doubt myself, I can feel that energy. It's like, <laughs> you know, because I'm doubting myself. I don't have, you know, it, because I don't understand every single light language that I've said, it doesn't mean that it's not powerful. I've got codes meditations that I put on my website that I'm hearing back from people that are having incredible results with it and it is like you know heart opening and energy clearing and all I think there's five different meditations on there and and yeah it's it's incredible and I love hearing back from people so I know there's quite a few people that are going to be watching the replay of this so um, you people watching the replay make sure you leave me a comment because I'll be watching all right and if you haven't signed up for my email list please do because I send out my videos and podcasts and every week motivation Mondays it's called and you can do that on my Facebook page as well as my website all right so I hope you enjoyed this have a fantastic evening stay connected all you have to do is breathe deep and you are connected to the full moon all right intention is everything many blessings and namaste